I'm gonna pot up these crimson tomatoes. I'm gonna just dig my fingers in, pull them out, and pretty much just block them in. <laughs> Take the whole turn. As you can tell, the roots are spread all out, but it comes out pretty easily. Not quite ready to plant them, but I'm gonna up pot them real quick. Wow, that roots a little bit longer than I thought. Let's just go ahead and put you in like that. The reason I'm going ahead and doing this is because I figured that my garden was going to be ready by now, but it's not yet. But that's all of those. Now I'm going to just take some of this and sprinkle it on top. I found that it might stun it just a little bit during ripping them up from each other, but tomatoes are pretty tough. My growing uh, season is long enough that this little stunt to the tomato won't do much anything. Take off those lower bottom leaves. All they do is rot and die off anyway. These will grow and get bigger and they should pretty much fill out the root area by the time I put them in the ground. I'm thinking around April 1st I will try to plant these out. That's uh, like 10 days or more. I bet the roots will be back down to the bottom of this by then. Oh, this is how I'm up potting my tomato plants. Uh, I did a lot of these already. Um, these are really stunted. I started them about the same time, if not the same day. You can see these are bigger. All right, this is what I'm gonna grow my tomatoes in this year. I don't wanna fill this one up with just full soil or that one. This one, I may, but I think I'll still put a little bit of uh, sticks on the bottom like a row of them and this is east west south north there we go so the, the sun's going to be more over here so i'm going to put the shorter ones kind of in the this side <clears throat> and so the taller ones won't block off the sun from these these little collars on it Oops, that's falling down. But anyway, uh, and some kind of rod up through this, up, up into the sky. Single stem them so I can plant them so close. This is like maybe about three foot right here. Starting to clean out the beds. My wife helped me a lot on that. Um, there's some things over there that I'm gonna mess with as well. And there's another little helper and a cute furry thing over there. All right, well, I'm gonna cut some of these branches down and pile them in this one to start, and then that one, and then maybe a little on that. All right, so I got the wood in here. It takes up a lot of the volume on the bottom side, and it also breaks down, be kind of like a Hugo culture bed in these, at least these three. I'm probably gonna do it in the rest of them too to save some money. and. It should hold water better. All right, I'm going to fill it up with some of my compost, some bag soil that I have laying around, and then plant some tomato plants. All right, so I filled them up now, and now I'm going to plant my plants. All right, let's take this. I'm not sure how well the roots... Oh, look at that. They're already gotten around to the edge of the container. Did not expect that actually. I'm gonna plant it pretty deep. I'm gonna have to attach this rim to it better. But I'm planning on getting 
irrigation hose and doing a drip right at this in each one of these plants and that way I don't waste so much water and water all these weeds around it. All right, well, this is how I'm gonna plant my tomato plants, a lot of them. It's gonna be in all of these, going all the way down. There's my helper. She's gonna snarl at me. Don't do it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, the other helper was like, wait. Apparently the Great Pyrenees wanted in the video too. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Bye.